Welcome to FAQ Friday. Uh, this is Andrew Beach, Executive Career Coach. I help professionals communicate their value to find great new jobs faster. Today on FAQ Friday, we're going to talk about how do I find a job when I've already got a job. So if you would please leave your comments in the box next to me here. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer those during the live broadcast. We're also joined here live on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Branding Dynamo. So thank you again for another FAQ Friday. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And let's jump right into it. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up or a heart. Leave a comment or question. I'll be happy to answer those uh, at the end of this live broadcast. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. So I've been having a lot of folks asking me, how do I create a plan or what do I do so that I can actually get an opportunity to find a job when I've already got a job? I mean, I'm heads down on my job, I've got a family, I've got other commitments. How do I bargain uh, with myself to find that new position? Okay, the good news is I'm going to give you five things that you can do to actually um, make this happen for you on a regular basis. Okay, so the first one is look within. Uh, I've had many clients that I've coached that had an excellent job at an excellent company, but they just weren't satisfied. And so they sought opportunities outside the company instead of looking inside the company for opportunities that might be right under their nose. And so this is kind of the, uh, the acres of diamonds philosophy or, hey, inches from gold, that sort of thing that uh, you stop digging for gold right when you're next to it. So I would highly recommend uh, take a look around your current organization. Talk to your manager. If you have a good relationship, perhaps they'd even let you do what's called a stretch assignment where you try doing a, a portion of your work activities each week in a new department or a new capacity. I see that a lot at uh, the larger organizations, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen at a smaller organization because many times they don't have the resources to hire new people. And so if you can take on more responsibility and perhaps negotiate a, um, a bump in salary, that would be uh, saving the company money and providing more value to the company. So think um, looking within. Now, the nice thing about that too is when you look within, um, you're not really taking away from company resources. You're actually trying to collaborate with other people inside the organization. So if you're building a reputation in the company as an, a person of value, then you can go ahead and find uh, and interact with people without taking away from company resources. And many times you're making contributions across organizational lines and that'll allow the company get to be better, to be more profitable, okay? So create one. Uh, we talked about that. Look within is also a, a beneficial thing. And, you know, I've heard a lot about time blocking. Um, I've never really gotten into time blocking be primarily because of what it's called. So I had to change my mindset on that and say, hey, there should be protected time in your schedule. And you should guard that with um, everything that you have in your fiber and being that just says, OK, between this hour and this hour, I'm going to do exactly this. And so whether that's um, networking inside the company or networking outside the company or perhaps even going on interviews, see if you can't carve out and protect some time in your calendar so that you can actually execute a plan, which brings us to the next step. And that is you should have a detailed plan. What is it you really want? Where do you want to work? What title do you want? How much do you want to earn in salary? You know, there's a wonderful book out there that I just picked up again for the first time in, in a little while, and that's called What Color Is Your Parachute? And by golly, in there, they give you a whole way to find, uh, it, it's called building a flower. I think it's a flower diagram. But you put everything on there, the kind of job you want, the place you want to work, the kind of people you want to work with. It's really an awesome way to find your why or your purpose and to document it on paper so that you can see it. Okay, So that's half of it. Half of it is creating the plan. The other half is executing. And so by having a detailed plan, what that will allow you to do is identify target people, target companies, and target job titles that you should all put on that paper. Okay, And that's then a, an opportunity for you to execute a, a networking strategy. I have a curriculum I'm building right now on how to do that, how to meet the right people, how to handle a networking interaction without seeming like a, a D-bag, if you will. Um, and then uh, executing on that plan is a big deal. So go to my website if you have interest. It's uh, brandingdynamo.com. Go ahead and sign up there to get on the wait list for the new curriculum. 
Uh, I'm going to be putting that together here. I, I am putting that together. I've got the outline created and everything, and um, it's going to be live here probably by the end of the year. So uh, get on that list. Don't hesitate. Brandingdynamo.com. Okay, and then the last one is phone communications. I recognize we all have limited time in our calendars, and truthfully, the best way to communicate with people if you can't meet them face-to-face -face is by the phone. Many people don't actually... Um, receive many phone calls anymore. It's all text message or email, things that are, you know, relatively easy to ignore and don't have the added benefit of um, dynamic range. Okay, so by talking on the phone and becoming better at phone communications, you actually will maximize your opportunities. So by having that protected time and a detailed schedule or, or uh, the protected time and a detailed plan, you can actually jump in and get on the phone and maybe call five or 10 people in that one hour block that you have that you used to call lunch, okay? And so if, if that's something you're interested in, um, there's another good book I just read, not just read, but read recently, and that was uh, Quitter by uh, John Acuff. And so he put together a plan or at least shared his story about how he went from, hey, this is the job I have to have to make the ends meet to, um, actually coming on board with Dave Ramsey at his company. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll leave links to uh, both of those books down in the, um, down in the comments section, uh, What Color Is Your Parachute and Quitter by John E. Cuff. Both good books. Okay, so that's it for today. Just a really short, sweet um, uh, FAQ Friday. It's a holiday week, so I wish you all the best. Um, and let's see if we have any chats. Okay, pretty quiet on the YouTubes. Anybody on Instagrams? quiet on the Instagrams. I hope you have a great holiday season. And uh, again, happy networking and uh, be the best authentic you. Take care.